No, that is not a flattering look. That is way too bright. Pretend you did not see that. Um, hello! Welcome, everyone, uh, to the stream today. Well, it has been very interesting since the last time we have talked. Um, a lot of things have happened. I apologize, I'm trying to set up something right now. Um, a lot of things have happened. I have cried since then. Which normally happens, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but today we are just going to do things. I, hold on, let me, let me restart real quick. First things first, I got home at 7, I made a TikTok, I tried to post that TikTok, it got kind of deleted, and I'm like, you know what, it's fine, I can make that TikTok even better. Um... So then I made that TikTok better, and then all of a sudden it was 7.45, and I'm like, you know what? It's a for high day. Long story short, I took a... I, I, I took a bong rip, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> Not a good decision, but it's okay, because I decided, um, while I was inhaling things, um, that we should color. So I have had this for a while now. These are tarot cards that are you can color. It's beautiful. I've already colored a couple, but hold on. You gotta see when I pull, just open it, just. Oh my god, beautiful. Look at that. Hello, Dip. Welcome back to the stream. Look at this. Hi, Squishy. Tarot cards. So this is the book. I like to flip it to the back because look at that, it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> but this is all of the tarot cards and their meaning and the way they colored them. Um, I have not referred back to any of these. No, 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 I am coloring them myself. So hell, Mason's here too. Everyone say hi to Mason. <laughs> Please don't show them your butthole. Yeah, come here, come here. <laughs> beautiful, thank you. Hi, I changed my username to be my preferred name. Skylar, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Excuse me. I like having my notification sound as Technoblade because throughout my music... Technoblade never dies, that is true. Thank you for the beautiful sentiment, Panda. I'll say, <laughs> yep, everyone say hi to Mason, but he's trying to play with the string in the book. Sir, sir, back away from the string, <laughs> back away from the string. Um, let me just show you quick the tarot cards I have done. Um, we got the fool, beautifully colored, if I do say so myself. Um, Mason is staring- I have, like, my monitor set up, like, with the stream happening, um, on my computer, and Mason is just staring at himself. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got the Magician. Now, I understand tarot cards, but I don't remember everything off the top of my head because it's sad when you're like, oh, I want to learn this new thing, and then you realize you actually have to, like, sit down and learn that thing. Wild. <laughs> um, the High Priestess, which I personally really like. Look at that. Um, I have, I've been coloring all of these with colored pencils, um, and I have this gold colored pencil, so her throne is, like, gold. What does my future await? Uh, if I, I will pull cards at the end. Um, I haven't actually used this deck because I wanted to use it for the first time when they were all, uh, colored. But this is gonna take me a while. I've only done up to... Oh, the next one's really cool. This is the one we're gonna be doing next. The Hermit. Beautiful. This one I know because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, turning the music down a little bit, but yeah. We also got the Empress, which I really like. She is entirely pink with different shades. Beautiful. I take my time with these, which is why it's taking me so long, but I've only done... What is this? They have Roman numerals on it. Do I know how to read Roman numerals? Um, yes, but not on a Frihide. 
Uh, <laughs> Mason's just doing cat things. Yeah, Mason's just sitting on my lap right now. Just chilling. Um, got an emperor. I made his eyes red. Beautiful. The Herophant? I'm not sure what this one means. But it looks bad. <laughs> uh, the Lovers. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. I made like the sky like a yellowish pinkish so it's like a sunset sort of thing. Mason, can you... <laughs> it's fine. The Chariot, which is a mummy? I don't know why. I feel like a chariot is horses and you could do like a like a horseman type vibe. But no, they're like a mummy in a casket and I'm like, "You know what? I can't I can't judge you because this this is strength. <laughs> I can't share anything else that I think would encapsulate strength more than this card." Um but next, we're doing the hermit which is number nine. I've only done eight cards, guys. Do you know how many cards there are? So many. There are so many cards and I've only done this many. I need to do so many more and I'm so, I, I really have wanted to be, Lord Jesus, English is not something I can speak. I also need something to color on, but. I don't know. Mason, you're kind of in the way. <laughs> I can't, I can't color your legs here. Also, hello, Evan. Welcome back to the stream. Glad to have you here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna scoop them up. I'm just gonna, nope. Okay, no more scoop. Now we're just placing onto my lap. <laughs> and then I just kind of like, I just kind of like gently shove him down <laughs> until he knows that I want him to lay down and then he's fine. He's still going to try to go after that string though. Okay. So I have this random bag of colored pencils that just has a lot of colored pencils. Now my goal is to keep all of the colored pencils in this bag and not have them strewn about because I like to make sure that I have like the same color for things. So like, I wanna keep the colored pencils that I'm using for this card where I know where to see them. So I just don't put them back in the bag, but I also don't wanna take a bunch out of the bag and just like have them all over my bed so I can't find the colored pencils. <laughs> That's a goal. I was, Timeless Phantoms, 78 cards, that, that slight, that hurts me a little bit, but we're gonna get through it. First things first, what are we coloring first? I think I'm gonna go with the blood on the apron. Oh, the burn from, it's, it doesn't look too bad right now, but it's that. Um, that came from deep inside my skin. Like it took like a day before it was actually like a bubble. But yeah, <laughs> making bread in the tarot box. <laughs> he's probably he's probably just trying to eat the string. To be honest, <laughs> there he is. I don't know why I intrigued him in that. Uh, I'm also gonna need a colored pencil sharpener. Well, it doesn't specifically have to be a colored pencil sharpener, but it is a sharpener. Um, don't ask me why I'm going to the bathroom to look for my pencil sharpener. It's actually for my eyeliner. It's not actually that weird of a reason. Huh. This is basically the only pencil sharpener I own. Um, it used to be a cupcake, but I lost the top part because I got this in middle school. I also just have to kind of tip it upwards so it just all stays in the cup part of the cupcake. Huh. It's also not a very good sharpener. <laughs> ah! Never mind, I tipped it upside down. I'm bad. I have to have another pencil sharpener. I just clean things out. The only pencil sharpener that I... <laughs> Mason. There we go. Here's an actual pencil sharpener. <laughs> Sorry. Mason doesn't 
like that card, apparently. <laughs> he just kicked it off. I just got back on the bed and um, I have the Build-A-Bear my boyfriend made me uh, for Valentine's Day and it made the sound. I love you, bitch. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you, bitch. God, that is uh, true romance right there. <laughs> anyway, on to the actual coloring, like 10 minutes into the stream. <laughs> well, I'm gonna roll up the bracelet. There we go. Huh. I hate it here. This is also the color Cerise. I don't know what that means. What is... Apparently the universe doesn't want me to color today. Give me red. I'm looking for red. <laughs> Do I just colorblind? This is ruby. Do I want my blood to be colored ruby? This is red, but this is also not a very good colored pencil. It's double-sided? Don't know why. I have so many pinks, though. Uh, and here I go, putting colored pencils everywhere. This is red. Uh, I have a lot of colored pencils, it's just so many of them are just weird colors that I'm never gonna use. I don't want anything to be ruby. I don't even want a ruby to be ruby. Mason, what are you doing? He's fucking with the blinds. Because I had to close them. Because there were people doing weird construction stuff in my alleyway. And I'm like, they can see into my house. That's creepy. I live on the second floor. <laughs> They're like right next to my building because my window view, as I have shown you guys, is literally just an alleyway. Like it's a uh, directly across is a brick wall. So like what were they doing? And it wasn't on my building. It was in it was on the building across from mine and I'm like, so I just didn't get a warning. At least when I lived in uh, this really nice apartment building downtown, like this really, really nice apartment building downtown Chicago was actually my dorm room. It was so nice, but they gave us like warning being like, oh, hey, like we're going to be washing the windows. So there are going to be people being able to see. Now there's just a really weird noise happening. I live in a very strange place. Um, but they gave us notice. But also, I looked at <laughs> that apartment building recently because, like, it was a dorm room, but it also had, like, apartments in it. Really nice apartments. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's, like, 13000 a month. And you're like, I mean, I guess it's not that bad for a two-bedroom. It's like, no, it's a one-bedroom, but you share it with a complete random stranger. Because that person is also paying 13000 a month in rent. And I'm like, that's absolutely ridiculous. What the fuck? I'm working on Animal Crossing Journal. Listen to Stardew Valley. This is better? Yeah, sometimes I'm like, do I actually really want to, like, play a video game today? Not entirely. Like, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I want to, but, like, not for stream. Like, I may play a little bit of Fall Guys after this, but, like... Or I might just continue getting blazed and then watch uh, Grey's Anatomy. But I'm like, no, I want chill vibes. It has been a weird day. Uh, I think that's- oh no wait, this part too. It's just been a weird day because like, there was like this weird party at work. It was like, oh, like it was one of the restaurant's uh, birthdays. Like a 10 year anniversary type thing. And, so you keep- colored pencil this one is important, we keep that one. Um, but it was like, 
a 10th anniversary thing. What color is peach? Do I want this to be the color of the skin? Yeah, this looks like a horrifying criminal. That's a white man if I ever saw one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, there was this weird, like, work party. And, uh... Curious about something, not sure if you can- or if I should ask? You can ask anything, and I can just decline you an answer. If I really want to. The only thing I don't want to answer, basically, is anything really about where I live. Or where I work. Because that gets personal, and my mom told me not to give my name and address out to strangers on the internet. And she was wrong about a lot of things, but not that. <laughs> Hello, Mason. Welcome to my life. This isn't just like, he's doing this to be cute and fun on camera. This is a daily basis type thing. He doesn't understand he's on camera. Or maybe he does and he's just an attention whore. No, he definitely is an attention whore. Uh, doing hair next. Um, There is like a little bit of hair, like it's a lot of shadow, if you can see. <laughs> I can't really show you because Mason is laying on my arm. Um, he's gonna try biting my bracelet in a second, don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, this is also an arm. Oh no, he's going after the colored pencil. There we go. But yeah, weird pizza work party thing. Um, if I'm 420 friendly, I don't know yet. Yes, I mean yes to that question. But I don't know what exactly I can say on here is the problem. Sometimes I say things and then I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. But like, I'm deaf fuck, I don't know. This is for high day. I am currently blazed. <laughs> Is a word that I feel like I can say. Mason, can I- sir. Huh. Can I- Can I- Can I- Get, get your tail in there. <laughs> For high day, yeah. <laughs> Trying to summon demons again? Only a little bit. I, d I don't have the Ouija board, just the tarot cards. Mason is trying to do so much more than that, though. Summon Satan himself. <laughs> Mason supports the Supreme Court. I feel like Mason embodies... No, that's a lie. Mason doesn't know what the Supreme Court is. No thoughts in Mason's head. Zero thoughts. <laughs> Mason is like a small boy toddler. Like, that's exactly his personality. He loves bugs and trying to hunt birds, except he can't do either of the- Actually, he's pretty good with the bugs. He ends up killing them, but you know what? Sometimes small toddlers do that. Don't do Mason dirty like that. No, yeah, no. Mason's too too good of a boy. <laughs> no thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just giving him a noogie right now. <laughs> Mason loves aggressive pats. I've seen people on TikTok do like the... Like the... <laughs> Cat stream? Is this gonna turn into another cat stream? I really wanna- I'm gonna do at least one card. But Mason, I, I've seen on TikTok, like, uh, videos of people being like, Okay, I pet my cat, uh, <laughs> as, like, aggressively, like, one- I, I'm explaining this so poorly, but, like, it's- You do it once, and then the next time is, like, a little more aggressive. But, like, Mason loves the aggressive pets. He's just watching himself on stream now. 
Too busy vibing. <laughs> He's just watching himself. Adorable. Thick cat. He's not thick, he's long. Very, very, very long for some reason. I feel like I've shown him at one point. Alright, into the lap. And now we color. <laughs> What's next? We're alright. Are we doing zombie hands? No, I think we should. Hmm. I think we should do like kind of like a reddish, like a pinkish reddish thick. <laughs> he thick. Okay, sorry. Hi oh, guys, I'm sorry. He's thick. <laughs> Mason like me, no thoughts, need attention. That is exactly Mason. He, I will get home and I'm like, okay, in my like for my brain to work. If I sit down, I know I will accomplish nothing else the entire day. Um. But if I get home from work, I know that I'm still, like, up and running. I'm usually listening to, like, music that I really like because I'm, like, on the way home. Or um, I'm listening to, like, Reddit stories. And, like, I'm really intrigued in the Reddit stories. So, like, I want to continue listening. So I'm, like, I right, with the headphones in, take the shoes off, get, in, you know, like, get home and do the shit that I need to get done. Like, dishes or, like, uh... Th throwing away the garbage, stuff like that, like, cleaning up the house. So if I sit down, I can't do any of those things. But if I don't sit down and immediately pet Mason, he screams at me until I do. So I'm just trying to do the dishes, and he's screaming, <laughs> just constantly yelling. And I'm like, I will get to you. I will pet you in, like, five minutes tops. But he doesn't understand time. Alright. Oh yeah, I was gonna do like a pinkish hue around the... That's not yours. That's not yours. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> I can't place my hand down very well. It's fine. Do like some pink around all this. Make it a little more Bernie-like. Not the weird president. Well, almost president? Almost president. Never president. Uh, there we go. Add a little pink to that. Maybe do a little bit around some of these. Can't have the hand be all tan, so add some more there. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Do you see what I deal with? <laughs> Have you ever considered he's a spy drone from China? Um... Have I ever considered it? No. Um... I feel like he's kind of like the... <laughs> no, he's... <laughs> he's always seeking attention to get my person passwords. I mean, I don't know what China wants with my information, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they already have it. You know what? Do what you want. Do what you want with that information. I will share it right here, right now. I won't, actually. That's a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna use this color for the shirt. There was a dude once in college, though, when um, I was Snapchat friends with him because he was one of those people that you're like, I'm never gonna talk to this man. But, like, his Snapchat store, like, I met him at a party, and he was just absolutely wild, and he's like, hey, let me get your Snapchat, and I'm like, um, I am too polite to say no, so, like, yeah, sure, I guess, I'll see where this goes, I'm not gonna do anything, but, like, see where it goes, 
and then you just never talk to him because why would you? But he, the reason you don't talk to him is because he does dumb shit and posts it to his Snapchat stories. Dude posts his whole social security number on Snapchat. He's like, I have student debt anyway. What are you going to do with my money? I don't have any. Put me in more debt. Uh-huh. Take it. I'm like, that's not what that's for, dumbass fucking turned into red right there calling people dumbasses but like sir i was so upset at myself for not talking to him about internet safety um by uh selling his social security number i think he also posted like some bank statements too i can't remember what else i remember the social security card because i'm like that's wild dude um what the fuck but I, I should have, like, sold it on the black market. Be like, hey, yo, don't you worry, bro. You need a cop-out for things? I got you. Huh. Bro, no, yeah, no, it, he was an interesting man. Um, he ended up getting kicked out um, at the end almost at the end of his semester because he was, uh, someone sent the dean or someone like that, uh, a video of one of his Snapchat stories where he was doing dabs in, <laughs> in the, like, dorm rooms. Like, how, yeah, how can you be that stupid? I mean, it was culinary school. They really let anyone in. And I was shown that. Again, I, I will talk about this all the time. But time in and time out. Like, every... As someone who was, like, student, te student teaching type thing. Math in culinary school. You, you don't got the brightest a bunch in there. And, like, I understand why, like, my college had, like, a graduation rate of, like, less than 50%. Um, because they just let anyone in. And then a bunch of people failed because they either couldn't handle the pressure or, like, they thought it would be, like, an easy thing. And they've, like, I, I don't even know. I don't know. Culinary school's really hard, guys. <laughs> Not a fun time. Oh yeah, this is also arm. See, this is why we keep the colored pencils, because I realized that this is his arm, so I need to color it in the color of his arm. So if I would have put this back in the bag, then I would have lost it, and I would have had to search for it. My brain was not able to process what I just heard. Which part? All the parts? That feels about right, yeah. Oh, it's a bunny nose. I, I'm going to make the bunny nose pink. I wanted it to be a white rabbit because for some reason that feels more horrifying. But I feel like I should do the inside to be like a light gray. I didn't even finish coloring the shirt. Good job, me. <laughs> Maybe finish. Well, you start I got distracted by the arm. And the bunny nose. It's cute. <laughs> Beautiful. I want to be the anti Bob Ross. I want to be. <laughs> I want to be the anti Bob Ross where I just everything is absolutely awful. Everything is garbage. There is no happy little trees, no perfect little clouds. It is dark skylines, blood, death, and gore. And I need a mohawk. I feel like that's very, that would be anti Bob Ross. He's got the afro. I have hair. Mohawk is the word I was looking for. All right, gray for the bunny mask. 
This is a very blue gray. This color, gray. This color, cool gray. Why is gray bluer than cool gray? My dad just heard that and gave me the wildest look. <laughs> what, anti-Bob Ross? <laughs> I, no, I stick by what I, I said. I want to be anti-Bob Ross. Oh, the inside of the ears are pink. No calm streams, just chaos. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a calm vibe. We have a calm vibe here going on. Um, but in reality, my life is just chaos, so, um, I can't really fake the calm. It just comes out. Do we use ruby for the leather on the back of the mask? Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, ruby is actually a pretty good leather color. We're making it evil. Anti Bob Ross. <laughs> All right. Um, I was gonna try to fix the nose because now it's kind of blue. Oh no! Color theory, help! <laughs> Fuck color theory. I don't understand it. You know what? No, we're doing. We're gonna replace it with a little bit of brown. And then maybe kind of shade it up. So it's like a brown nose. Does that look normal? Oh yeah, that looks actually really cool. Oh my god. This card looks amazing. I'm doing such a good job. Maybe shade it a little, little better. There we go. Yeah. That feels about right. Gonna blend it in at all. This is colored pencil. You can't really blend a colored pencil. But no, I'd say that's good. All right. Um, what is next? Do I want the apron to be a different color? I kind of want to keep the apron white. Yeah, so the apron and the mask really pop, but I kind of just want the mask to pop. Beneath the mask is playing while you're coloring the mask. Things are going perfectly. It is chaotic, but it's going perfectly chaotic. I kind of also want to color the nails a different color. Do I, I want the nails to be like a pink. <gasps> he has painted nails. Yes. Oh, it's only the one nail. Never mind. My bad. I'm also going to... A little, little red. He's feeling spicy. I mean, you can blend if you have decent enough color pencils. This is Crayola. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> this one's actually Light Mark, which is actually a shittier Crayola. I try not to use them, so... You go back. Alright, um, hmm... I'm gonna color the gloves brown. Really get the pigment in there. Talking as if I know anything about art, as if I didn't almost fail my uh, 3D ninth grade art class. I didn't like the teacher, okay? And then I didn't take an art class um, any of senior year. Because I hated her so much. Well, I, I didn't like... I don't, I don't know. I just did not like her. She just didn't teach very well. 
Like, she was like, all right, do it this way. And I'm like, all right, can we have some creative liberties? And she's like, I mean, you can. And I'll do creative liberties. And she's like, not like that. And I'm like, what do you mean not like that? You said I had creative liberties. And then she would either, like, make me start over and do it again. Or she would, like, change it. I don't know. She was an interesting lady. Uh You broke your toe? How did you, have you, did you know your toe was broken? Or did you just like go to the doctor and you're like, Matt, yeah, my toe's been hurting. I did. <laughs> did you like injure it and you're like, oh shit, I should go to the doctor. Or did you go to the doctor and you're like, ow, it kind of hurts. I, I don't know. No, I did not. Yeah, that's interesting. You got a call, so, like, you didn't hear from him. It does so interesting. <laughs> well, welcome to the, no, the, welcome to the bone-breaking club. It's a fun time here. Alright, so for the lantern, I know what I want to do. It's just, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Firstly, I'm trying to find a yellow colored pencil that isn't the fucking Lightmark brand. I should have just thrown all of these away when I was cleaning out my colored pencils. How about a yellow orange? A light orange is probably maybe a... No. Ah. Uh, mango? What color works better with this one? With the gold one? This one or this this one? This one works better. <laughs> and now it's broken. Yeah, nothing happened in between. They were like, hey, your toe's broken. And then your toe immediately broke. And you're like, god damn it. The doctors were right. Huh. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do on the outside this kind of like mang- it, the color is mango. I'm not entirely sure what that means because a mango is a very large variety of colors. I guess we're talking about the inside. But even then, this isn't really mango colored. I don't have a mango because they're fucking expensive. But I have seen mangoes. Uh, there's that, and then on the inside of the lantern, we're going to do, like, a gold color. Probably do, like, a lighter shading. How about that? How about that? So it really, like, shines. There we go. See it like reflects in the light kind kind of I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. The lantern. Imagine how smooth it's gonna look when someone's like, hey, um, I have a question about my love life. Like, do you think I'll ever find the one? And then I just slam this bad boy down and it's just like, ha! Guess again, motherfucker! You're gonna be single for life, bitch. <laughs> Look at how creepy you look. Fucking loser. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was not directed towards anyone. I didn't pull that out of a deck. <laughs> Therefore, it didn't count. Alright, so... The outside of the lantern should be... What color? The... I do also have, like, my thing of, like, the these colored pencils, so I think I'm just gonna steal the black from this, because I'm not gonna be able to find a black in there. I don't think I even have a black. I'm just gonna do, like, a light shading of black. Uh, 
Um, trying to figure out what is lantern and what is empty space. This is lantern. And this is lantern. Also in uh, uh, high school, I didn't take any art classes, but I did take a photography class, which I guess is technically art. That had a different teacher. His name was Mr. Dorn, and he was slightly creepy to some of the female students. I never felt it, but other people felt uncomfortable, and I'm like, that's fair. He also didn't let me show my final art project, uh, my final photography project in, like, the school art fair because he said it was too morbid. Um, to be fair, it was very morbid. Um, but it was goddamn beautiful. I'm coloring my hand, apparently. Neat. <laughs> All right. But yeah, no, my pictures, I took them in the basement of a church. Um, and I did my friend's makeup to be horrifying. One of them, I put uh, tissue paper and um, liquid, liquid latex. Is that what it is? Put it all over her mouth and then I cut it open and then I sewed that shut so it looked like her mouth had been sewn shut. Um, and then she put on like a creepy doll dress. And then we just took pictures of her in a, you know, church basement. And I also had one dress up as a bride. Um, and then we took pictures in the actual church. Um... <laughs> So they're like, no, and I'm like, why? And they're like, because there are going to be children there. And I'm like, fair enough. Can I at least have one of them? And they're like, mm, fine, I guess. You can do the, the church one because it doesn't have any blood. I'm like, I mean, I should have added some now. <laughs> My older sister, similar thing with her art. Or was centered on periods and feminism. And they're like, no. And we're like, but like, I, you told me to do a thing. And then I did a thing. And now you're like, no, not that thing. He still gave me a good grade. But like, the thing that I got pissed off about the, about the most was, um, what, like one of the photography students, uh, picture was going to be, like, uh, awarded by the mayor because it was a very small town in Wisconsin, so the mayor would come to, like, the uh, art, uh, like, fair and, like, give prizes to the students, and they're like, hey, like, $50 gift card to the person who, like, the mayor picks. And I'm like, okay, well, my chances are gone, and, like, that's entirely fair. I dated the mayor's cousin. I know the mayor's family. They would not like my art. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so I, hold on, I need to find a gray pencil that's not bad. I might as well just use all of the Amazon basics. But yeah, I, the person that ended up winning the art, uh, well, like the $50 gift card or whatever it was, was a girl that hated that class, barely ever participated. Um, her final project was done in one day. Um, she literally took one of the cameras, went down to the gymnasium, took a p couple pictures of the hoops um, and some basketballs on the court, um, had the photography teacher uh, finish it for her because she's just like, oh yeah, like I can't do it. Um, I don't know how, and he's like, I've been teaching you how to do this the entire class. She's like, yeah, I still don't really know how to do it. And he's like, I right, fine, I'll, I'll help you or whatever. And did, like, the bare minimum of editing. And then that's what the mayor picked. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like the time when I was in... 
fucking elementary school and we were given pumpkins to color and like decorate because it was Halloween so they're like make jack-o'-lanterns but it was just a picture of a pumpkin and I'm like oh bet bitch um so I went to Home Depot and I got every paint sample, well not paint sample, but paint swatch available in the color orange and black. And I took those home and I cut a goddamn mosaic out of those bitches. And I glued them together to make a beautiful pumpkin uh, thing, jack-o'-lantern bitch. And do you know who won? A girl who colored her pumpkin and then put a witch's hat on it. I wanted to win and they said they were judging it based off of creativity. If that wasn't the borderline fucking t- tippity top of the goddamn creativity thing, whatever. I j- I'm just, I'm angry now. <laughs> Welcome to anti-Bob Ross, we're angry coloring. <laughs> I don't know what warm gray is, but that's what the sky is going to be. It looks kind of stormy. There's a lot of gray in this, but it means the other colors are going to pop. I really like the lantern. I like to... So I don't know like what all of the cards mean specifically, but you can usually tell by their pictures... What they mean? Well, also the hermit. But, like, yeah, it's the hermit, but, like, he's also walking, like, up. So, like, I feel- and he's, like, has his own way of life. Like, he's following his own path. But, like, still a hermit. (laughs) I should also do, like- what was this? This was brown. I'm gonna do a little bit of brown around the ears, too. Because I just think that would be cool. Give it a little bit more. Yeah. Wait. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crock of shit. You, you're right. I was robbed in my youth. I had so much creative potential. And I was just shot down at every moment. And now as an adult, I'm like, I don't really like drawing or like coloring or like anything because I'm like I, and I mean I'm good at it but I'm not really good at it like even in like middle school I remember comparing myself to one of the other girls and I'm like well I can't I'm not that good and she's that good and she's my age so like what the fuck I had a lot of no that's a lie I had zero confidence growing up as a child <laughs> yay I might add a little bit of color to the sky. Gently color in here. I don't know what color to add though. I might add like some lightning just because I feel like that's fitting. It looks cloudy. It looks like a rainy night. I'm a, I'm envisioning this as a rainy night. It's a rainy night now. Now here's where we get to the weird part. The stairs, also gray, but a different type of gray. So I don't know how this is going to look. This Well, the stairs definitely aren't going to blend into the skyline, but... I should also color in the sword. Hmm... I feel like I have a silver color pencil. I definitely know I do, I just don't know where it is. Uh, Mason hears me playing with the colored pencils and he's like, I want some of that. Hello, buddy. Oh, nope, never mind. 
Where is the silver one? I have so many colored pencils. Huh. Oh, there you are. Aha. Got it. Back into the bag. Ha! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't really see, but they fell out of the bag because I didn't put them in the bag very well. Huh. There you go. Look at that. The sword's shiny too. Beautiful. Um, is there any final touches? The lightning I'm gonna add. This is all colored, right? Warm gray is the color I was using. Yeah. I need a good yellow. This one. Just like some subtle lightning. That's like some subtle lightning, right? You can't even really see that. I don't know how lightning is. But that seems about right. Another card, done. Can I, should I start one more? Oh, look at this one. Are you ready? For the Wheel of Fortune? Look at that. <laughs> I like that dude. Beautiful. Got the snake, a sphinx, uh, Skull? Books? Hum. I kind of want to do justice, though. Look at justice. A child in the electric chair. Where they belong. <laughs> I, d I don't mean that at all. Children are beautiful, glorious bastards, but I don't like them unless I they are mine. Wheel of Fortune? I, it's like a... I don't know, let's find out. What is the meaning of the Wheel of Fortune? Meaning, fate, mystery, things are out of hand according to tradition, good fortune. So if it's this way, it's good fortune. Well, if it's this way to you, it's good fortune. But if it's this way, then it's bad fortune. So it's like kind of like a wheel. Interesting. Neat. Uh, hmm. What color do I want the Wheel of Fortune to be? Wheel of Fortune. That's a lie. That's not what I'm starting with. I'm obviously starting off with the snake. What color do I want him to be? Jade green? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That, hold on, hold up, hold up. Oh no, I put the yellow from the Amazon Basics in there, and I also probably put in one of the grays. God, why am I like this? 
Never mind, I found him. Huh. Add some yellow in here. In some spots. And I'll just color over the whole thing with green. Same colors that the Wheel of Fortune actually are. It's like... Silver? I'm not sure what the colors, actual colors of the Wheel of Fortune are. To be honest. I don't think I've ever... No. No, I have. Or is it... Or is it like... Hold on. No, now I'm looking up what the fucking Wheel of Fortune looks like. If I could spell. Wheel of Fortune is just very colorful. Wheel of Fortune tarot card. It's usually like a yellow orange. Looks like. Neat. Alright. Well if it's like a yellow orange then I kind of want there to be yellow in all of the animals. Because then they're, like, connected back to the wheel. Oh, fortune! Every time I refer to the wheel, of fortune! I'm gonna say of fortune afterwards. And you guys cannot stop me. I don't think I'm gonna finish this card today, but honestly, I kind of wanna. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wanna continue coloring this throughout the weekend. <laughs> like maybe for the next couple streams, I just color the tarot cards, cause I do really want to like get them all colored and used because I do have tarot cards but I got them a while ago and they're not my favorite but like imagine like someone's like or you're like hey like can I read your tarot cards and then you whip out a deck that is absolutely horrifying but also that I colored beautiful happy is a, a fortune happy color yellow is ass I Gold it is. The wheel will be the wheel of fortune will be gold. All right. Make the head a little darker green. What color should the snake eye be? Hmm. I was dotting in some of the eyes with Sharpie if I wanted them to be black. Like where, what was one that I did it on? Like the magician? I just like colored them out with Sharpie. So I could do that for these too. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't mean to write that. Brain's not working. Nope, I'm taking all the constructive criticism. Fuck yellow. To be fair, um, when I... No, that's a lie. I think I got rid of orange. If you guys could get rid of one color in the rainbow, what color would it be? I would say orange. It's just... We already have yellow and we already have red and they're right next to each other. So it's like if you had to get rid of one color in the rainbow, like they would just... It just, it feels right. Like if you took out green, there's too big of a step between yellow and blue. And if you took out blue, there's too big of a step. Well, I mean, I guess you could take out blue, but blue is a good color. It's a hypothetical question, Barrett. Have you ever... Well, it's not... Well, yeah, no, it is hypothetical. It's, like, the same thing as, like, okay, would you rather be in a room 
with 100 rats or 1 million flies. It's a hypothetical. We're not going to shove you in there. Orange is a perfect color to switch between yellow and red. I get it. Take away green. It's just... I mean, I, mean, I get maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's all personal opinion. All the random questions we ask each other at work because... We're bored and we talk to each other every single day. Basically all day. Shh, not this song. <laughs> Animal Crossing, heck yeah. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, they either have to talk to me at work or I start singing like that. And no one wants to hear me sing like that. So then we talk. And that's how I fill up my social meter for the day. That and this. I don't see the point of the question, pun intended. Puns. Love me a good pun. Love me a good dad joke. Um, I will look at you disappointed both times before laughing. Like, if you make a pun, like a really bad pun, or like, uh, a really shitty dad joke, I'm just gonna look at you stone cold disappointed for like three seconds before I start giggling. Round and round we go, where we stop, nobody knows. I certainly don't. I feel like I would be the last to know where we're going. Alright, this is still... Wheel. The wheel. Of fortune! No, now I'm not gonna do it every time. I'm just gonna do it on occasion to see if you guys are paying attention. That we we're talking about the wheel. A fortune. <laughs> Gotta get in between the toes of the lion, Sphinx, uh, Pharaoh esque. What? <laughs> what is that? Combine indigo and blue into one because they're similar. Yeah, I, that is, I feel like, uh, violet and or indigo is a cop-out. Because, like, I feel, if you remember that indigo is technically a color of the rainbow, like, I feel like everyone would say indigo because they forget it exists on the rainbow. Otherwise, that would be everyone's answer. Personally, I still say orange. I do like orange, though, so I guess indigo. It's like a... Imagine purple, but it's more blue... No, fuck, fuck indigo. That's actually why I have to explain my favorite color. My favorite color is, like, violet. It's like, I want purple, but I want there to be... I want it to be a more red purple than a blue purple, because purple is made by mixing red and blue together. So if you add more blue to, like, a red, it becomes indigo. But if you add more red to blue, then it turns into, like, a violet color. You, yeah, everyone's answer is to indigo. Fuck indigo. Because <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it's technically... Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, indigo. No, it's like... It's like indigo and violet or something. I don't know. What are the colors of the rainbow? What are the colors of rainbow? Rainbow. 
Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. <laughs> Fuck indigo. I have very strong opinions about the color indigo. <laughs> God, I want to... <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. Uh, dying. I want to enter a classroom. Well, not a classroom, but like any social situation. I also got a croissant from work. I just, I've had this in my bag the whole time. Um, I would just want to introduce myself in a social setting for someone to be like, okay, everyone stand up and like say, go around the room, stand up and say something about yourselves. I want to stand up there and be like, hi, my name's Amanda. I have, uh, st <laughs> I have strong feeling. I have strong negative feelings towards the color indigo grass. Um, what else gets me really heated? <laughs> indigo and grass are the, the two big ones I know. Magenta doesn't even exist in the light spectrum. Well, magenta is just light. Well, I, it's kind of like pink. Magenta's a type of pink. Hold on, let me take a drink of water, Lord Jesus. Uh, fun fact, I had a Tamagotchi. Its name was Tree. It died six days ago. It died while I was on the train. I'm like, what is that noise? It came from my backpack. The only reason I heard it is because I was having a nice exchange with a random person on the uh, random person on the train. And I think he was a lot younger than me. I, he had to have been like maybe 17. So I don't think he knew what a Tamagotchi was because I'm like, oh shit, my Tamagotchi died. And he's like, what's that? And I'm like, it's a Tamagotchi. He's like, oh. I'm like, you know, like the little pet things you take care of? Yeah, it's currently dying right now. Anyway, back to our conversation about video games. <laughs> so, sorry, tree. My bad. I kind of want some of this croissant now, though. But yeah, no. Uh, mag pink. The color pink is just technically light red. Which is, uh, which I feel like is a lot of reasons. A lot of colors aren't on this rainbow. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I've given up. I'm eating a croissant now. Oh, so good. We don't even sell croissants at work, but we made them because we want to start making croissants. Oh, beautiful. Anyway. I feel like I would love to do croissants for, like, a stream. But the problem is they take, like, three hours. Because you have to make the bread. Like, the actual bread part of it. Which takes a while. Which I could do beforehand. But then... Is it's I don't know. It's just so hard. You gotta like make a block of butter thin enough and make sure it's like the right temperature to be able to roll into the dough. And then you have to fold it. And then you have to refrigerate it for 20 minutes. And then you gotta fold it again and roll it out and fold it. And then you gotta refrigerate it again. And you gotta do that like probably three times. And then you gotta bake it. Well, then you gotta roll it out again, cut it, roll them into actual croissant rolls, and then bake them. Usually with steam. We don't- I don't really have access to steam. God, would I fucking love to own a convection oven. There we go. Magenta is a color made by reflecting blue and red light waves. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. A little bit. Maybe, I don't know. I don't understand colors. 
I failed at colorology school. That's okay. I did great at docology school. Where I became a doctor. I was on TikTok earlier. Sorry about your shitty birthday party. Um, it actually wasn't that bad. Like, I complained about it a lot. But it, in all reality, like, I love my job. And, like, um, the owner of my restaurant is only there... Like, a couple times a year because they're trying to open restaurants in other states. So, yeah, we only have to deal with them for a little bit. So it's not too bad. But they're just like, yeah, like, it's our one of the restaurant's birthdays. So it's a pizza party. I did end up going and I did basically get paid... To eat ice cream for an hour. I haven't seen the TikTok. What happened? So basically it was like one of my restaurant's uh, birthdays. It was like the 10 year anniversary or something along those lines. I think they actually had to skip their 10 year anniversary um, because of COVID. Uh, so I think it was kind of like a redo. Which is funny because someone tested positive for COVID at, or at my work yesterday. Um, so now we all have to wear masks for five days. Which isn't bad, but still, um, but they had, like, we had to make a cake, and I took a picture of this cake, and I can't show it to you because it has my company logo on it, but it's, like, literally six layers, all vanilla cake, all dyed a different layer, 12-inch cake. With, like, intricate buttercream, like, designs on the outside. And we made that because she was like, I'm so glad, like, you guys have been here and working here for the last couple years. Like, it's been great to see you guys and, like, you know, stuff like that. Like, just how much I appreciate you. And then we're like, then why did you ask us to make something? Yeah, who makes their own birthday cake? Yeah. So it's just like, okay, and it's just like, they just ordered a bunch of pizza, they like rented an ice cream truck, so like all the ice cream was free. So it's like, oh, yay, like the thing that I make on a almost a daily basis, I get to eat for free, except this time I didn't make it. Um, I mean, yeah, it was delicious. It was actually really good ice cream, but I mean, we could have done without it. To be fair, they did give me a $2 raise this year, so I can't complain too much. I, I do really like my job. As much, I like to complain about it sometimes because, you know, it is my job, but, ah. There's like some parts I missed. I It's like shimmery in the light. I think I'm gonna... Press hard for some of these random outlines. Yeah. I think I'm gonna finish the wheel. Oh, fortune! Um, and then I think that'll be the end of stream, but this feels like very intricate detailing right now. I say as I'm literally just coloring. I feel like I've been watching too much Grey's Anatomy. I feel like I've started talking like a doctor. Except not like a doctor at all, because those people are not doctors. They would have lost their medical license so early on. Would have been unbelievable. With the amount of uh, people that they resuscitate that specifically have a DNR, which means do not resuscitate. I mean, they never make it. It's always just the person being like, oh, like, no, please come back. And they're like, they have a DNR, do not resuscitate. And they're like, no, it, he has to come back. And it's like, time of death, 347. And it's just like, damn. As they're being, like, ripped away from, like, the patient. It's just like, y'all need to cool it. 
They need to control themselves and also keep their fucking opinions to themselves. Too many doctors in that show are giving out their unsolicited opinions on medical cases that aren't even theirs half, half the time. Like, the audacity for a doctor to come in and be like, actually, um, I think the decision that you are making about your health and your future is a bad idea. Not in a medical professional standpoint, but in the standpoint of, I am another random ass human being, um, and I'm saying I think this is the wrong decision. Like, shut your mouth. The audacity doctors have. Like, we get it. You went to medical school. Good for you. Um, but now, that doesn't give you the excuse to be a dick to people. We get it. You're overworked and you're tired, but that is not people's fault. That is other people- That is not my fault. That is other people's fault. Um, I don't know entirely who. But you- Y'all should get on that. <laughs> Yeah. It's really shiny now. Oh, yeah. You see a little bit of that shine? That's so cool. Mmm. I might also do just like some of this on the outside, just a little more. Hmm. All right, uh, for the inside of the wheel. Hmm. What am I thinking? Do I just do that? Yeah, this is good. I was wondering if I should do it a different color, but nah. I think this is good. just the lettering, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. No idea. Um, I'm excited because I've almost completed uh, first spread in my journal. Ooh! Neat. I'm excited for you. Hmm. I feel like... Should we do silvering on the inside then? Yeah. Do like... We want this to be fortune. Silver and gold. Isn't there a song like that? Yeah. 
There we go. Uh, sorry, I'm getting quiet. I'm focused. Gotta do a good job coloring, otherwise the my cards aren't gonna be right, and then it's gonna give me bad predictions, and it's gonna tell me that I'm not. I don't know. What are my dreams? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm an adult who has bills to pay. I don't have dreams anymore. Hmm. There. I guess my dream is to have, like, a good time. I know things are going to shit, but, like, I'd at least like to have a slightly good time while it's happening. No thoughts, just vibes. That's my plan for the apocalypse. That's actually so much of a lie. I am so prepared for the apocalypse. <laughs> color that middle part in color this middle part in color this middle part in heck yeah let me just shade it Hello, buddy. You are just in time. I finished the wheel. She looks beautiful. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Still have a dream to be, to, to open a grilled cheese food truck? Ooh, that sounds delicious. Growing up, I thought that I, uh, I never thought that I liked grilled cheese. Turns out that everyone that gave me a grilled cheese just made it with American Craft Singles. Um, and I just really hated American Craft Singles. Because it's not cheese. I grew up in Wisconsin. My dad was an award-winning cheese maker. I did not want a Craft Single. That's not cheese. And I just hated it so much that I thought I didn't like grilled cheese. But now I realize that grilled cheese is good. It's so good. Alright, well... That is a work in progress, but that's a later work in progress because this is the end of the stream. <laughs> I think, I, I really don't want to shuffle them up. I want to do a reading, but I don't want to shuffle them up because, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to shuffle them up and then I think... I might do another one tomorrow. Oh, let me... Ah! My ring light is, Lord Jesus, so bright. I'm also using my old ring light because this is the only way I can kind of really do the 
coloring stream. I also realized that there's something in the background. So we're just gonna go like this. All right. I also have a cut on my thumb. You can't really see it very well. It's kind of kind of right there. Um, which I also cut by on the caramel. Um, I was making caramel corn, and when like melted sugar hardens, it gets really sharp if you break it. Ow. So I cut myself on a uh, caramel. Good job, me. And now it is making it very hard for me to use my thumb right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me use a shuffling method. Uh, they're so underrated. They are very underrated. Cause it's like, yeah, like when you think of grilled cheese, you think of like that's what you think about. It's like I the craft single. But it's just like, oh, I made some really good grilled cheeses in my life. Especially when I was in, like, my breads course in culinary school and we were making, like, garlic bread with, like, Lord Jesus. With garlic bread um, that had, like, whole cloves of garlic in them. Lord Jesus, I am struggling to shuffle these cards. I am so sorry, but um, the universe does not want you to know your fate. Alright, you know what? The one that started ble bleeding profusely and messed up the bread? No, I messed up the bread um, on my own just because I forgot yeast in it. Like, good job, me. Um, the one thing that kind of makes bread bread just completely forgotten in the recipe. But, no, the... I was, I was making caramel corn. That's what the blood was. Huh. But I had a glove on, luckily. And so it was bleeding inside the glove. It was not a fun time. It was like, actually, it kind of was a fun time. It was kind of funny. Because I was talking about, like, um, how, like, sharp it is. And, like, ow, like, how many, like, holes were in my glove. Because, like, the caramel corn had stabbed through the glove into, like, to create a hole. So I'm like, it was talking about that, and my manager was like, do you know how many times I've like actually, like caramel corn has drawn blood because it stabbed me? And I'm like, ha, yeah, that's funny. Five seconds later, I slid open my thumb. I'm like, good job, me. All right, you know what? We're doing, we're doing a one and done. We're doing a one and done reading. How about that? I'm going to tell you what you need to do after this stream. This is the end. We are at the end. Hold on, let me hum a book. We are at the end of the stream. So I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do after stream. Um, everyone, look at the cards. Focus your energy on the cards. <laughs> need to go, need to finish a game in 48 hours, need to work. I will tell you exactly what you need to do, Barrett. Do you know what you need to do? After the stream, I know you have to go, but this is the Two of Cups. Never mind, I actually have to look this up. Bye, Barrett. <laughs> For the rest of you, Two of Cups. Cups usually means good things. Two of Cups. This is your guys' card. The meaning, a relationship. Possible romance. Everyone swipe on Tinder. Magical bonds. Temptation. Oh, a danger hard... A danger hard to resist. Everyone, it's time to go find your romance, apparently. Text your significant others that you still love them after watching this uh, hour and a half stream. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here. And so much for watching. I'm glad you were here for the coloring bonanza. It was a fun time. Huh. Trying to get the book back out because I forgot to... Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't need to explain to you guys what I'm doing. You understand I'm doing weird stuff and that's fine. I'm just putting away stuff now at this point.
Yeah, no, that's it. Alright, bye everyone! <laughs> I'll see you when I see you bitches. Mwah.